Hey everyone, welcome to Star Morph, where we talk about the intersection of artificial intelligence tools and web development. Today we are going to go into ControlNet. We're going to talk about what is ControlNet, what can you create with ControlNet. I'm going to show you two easy ways to use already hosted models for ControlNet so you can get up and started today with no installation needed. And then I'm going to discuss a few more advanced ways that you can work with ControlNet. And if you find these useful, I'll make a part two video on more of the advanced customization, installation, and setting up ControlNet locally on your machine. So let's get started with the introduction. Okay, so let's start with what is ControlNet and what can you do with it? So ControlNet is a neural network framework that allows you to customize stable diffusion and other text to image tools. So you can customize stable diffusion and allow it to do, perform specific tasks in a more refined way than just the general stable diffusion model. It's an alternative to fine tuning, and it's kind of a method of training a part of a model and applying that to the overall stable diffusion model to get more refined results. So a lot of people have been using this both for images and for video. This is an example of what you can do with ControlNet Video. It's pretty amazing. You can upload a video and then type in a prompt and it will apply that prompt to the video that you uploaded. And here's another example of using, this actually is not with control net, but it's uh, similarly fine tuning stable diffusion uh, with video. And this is a technique that's getting really popular right now because it's pretty amazing results that you can film this in person and immediately create a production level anime uh it's pretty awesome so i think we're going to see a lot more of this um as these tools are breaking through so just a little more examples of what you can create with this the official github repo here has a few models that it comes pre-trained models using control net that are certain customizations on top of stable diffusion so each one of these is a different customization and they're good for different things so you can see this HED boundary customization is good for recoloring and stylizing photos. If you're using stable diffusion for a specific task, then you may want to use control net to help you perform that task more precisely than just the general stable diffusion model could. All right. So now we know generally speaking, what is control net and what can you do with it? Now let's talk about how you can use it. So the easiest way to use control net, I'm going to show you two ways. The first way is to use an already hosted model on something like Hugging Face. And I'll put links to this in the description. So here is an already hosted model that allows you to go through the pre-trained models we just saw on GitHub. And you can just upload your image here and type in your prompt and you'll be able to use these customizations. The other hosted model here is for the video. And this is the exact same uh, model that we saw in this Twitter example here. So if you're looking for the video control nut, this is a quick way to get started because you don't have to do a bunch of installations and stuff like that. So that's, that's the easy way. Okay. So now you know how to get started quickly, the easy way with control net using the already hosted service on hugging face. Let's talk about what you can do. If you want to go a little bit deeper, a few essential resources here. The first one is the official control net GitHub repository. And this has some information about how control net works. It also has some Python Gradio apps that allow you to actually install um, control net locally on your machine and run these pre-trained models that are doing specific tasks on top of stable diffusion. So if you don't want to rely on Hugging Face's hosted model, um, which has the same features here, but instead you want to run that locally on your machine, you can use the GitHub repo along with the official Hugging Face repo um, to locally install this on your machine. And disclaimer, I would not recommend doing this if you don't have experience using the terminal and ideally with Anaconda, which is an environment and package manager for Python, because in my experience setting this up, it does take a good amount of customization and you have to play with versions of PyTorch and so it does take some development environment configuration to get these two set up together. And the reason why we need this second um, hugging face repo as well is because this is where all of the models are. 
the pre-trained models. And we have about 94 gigabytes of models here that we would download from the Hugging Face repo, uh, clone with Git. So that's one way that you could use ControlNet on a deeper level is installing it locally on your machine with the GitHub repo. Another option is if you have the automatic 1111 um, stable diffusion interface already set up or you wanna have this set up, there's an extensions option in this toolkit and you can add ControlNet into your stable diffusion here. So if this is something you guys are interested in, we could set this up in another video to not make this one one hour long. But this is another method of using ControlNet locally on your machine. And then the third resource I want to point you to is the official ControlNet research paper. If you're looking to learn more about ControlNet, uh, then it's great to go to you know the source of the research and really understand deeply what's happening with ControlNet. Maybe not this deeply. Uh, at least I'm not going this deep, but uh, respect if you understand what you know all the formulas are in this document. But anyway, this is obviously a very valuable resource for understanding the true nature of control net. So like I said, I can make a part two and we can go into these more intermediate steps if that's helpful. If you're not a developer or you don't have the time to do all of the Python setup and everything, then I will put a link to the description for these two hosted models on Hugging Face. I hope this video was helpful in giving an introduction as to what ControlNet is and how you can use it and how it can benefit your text to image process. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to find future AI tutorials and I will see you in the next video.